We need to make Salem's Library earthquake safe for the children and all the rest of us who love and use the library. So citizens need to vote no on the police facility bond measure 24399 because it omits previously allocated money to make the library and city hall earthquake safe. Here's why it is so important to do that seismic retrofitting to protect the lives of everybody who works at or visits the Civic Center. My daughter went to the public library all the time in elementary, middle, and high school, so this is personal to me. The Salem Library was built in the early 70s, I believe it was, before modern earthquake standards were established. It's not earthquake ready. So with all the shelving and the concrete structure, it'd be real bad if a big earthquake hit Salem, right? Bad for the library? For sure. Uh, we've been told that we've got to prepare for the big one, the Cascadia subduction zone earthquake that is a matter of when, not if. A 2015 New Yorker article, the really big one, said, when the next full margin rupture happens, that region will suffer the worst natural disaster in the history of North America. That region is, is us, the Pacific Northwest, Oregon and Washington. Along with the library, City Hall at the Civic Center also is unprepared for a major earthquake. It likely would collapse in the big one. In 2013, City Manager Linda Norris said, the way it is right now, city employees wouldn't even be able to get out of the building alive, much less use the building. So in 2013, the City of Salem's budget for a new police facility, 75,000 square feet on the O'Brien auto dealership site in for seismic upgrades to the Civic Center was $56 million. Back then, they thought the police facility should be 75,000 square feet. A right-sized and properly designed public safety facility for our community needs to be about 75,000 square feet in size, spread over no more than three floors to function best in keeping Salem safe, said city officials. And in 2015, a Blue Ribbon Task Force on the police facility said that uh, it should be between 75,000 and 106,000 square feet, the purple bar you can see there. And then in 2016, after Chicago consultants were hired, the police facility got supersized to 148,000 square feet. So now the price of the supersized 148,000 square foot police facility has ballooned to $83 million. And now there's no money for the seismic retrofitting of City Hall or the library. The city officials don't even talk about it anymore because all the cash is going for the police facility. So let's take another look at the 2013 budget for building a new police facility and making civic center upgrades. If you allocate the soft costs, it turns out to be about $36 million for a police facility and $20 million for seismic and other upgrades. And now the city wants us to spend $82 million on a police facility alone. Now I've heard some city officials, city councilors, say that there isn't really a cost estimate for what it would take to earthquake-proof the library in City Hall, but the, here it is, right in a staff report from the city, $26.6 million. Partly that cost estimate is based on a 2014 report assessment of the library by a engineering firm. That report has all kinds of scary stuff in it, aside from the obvious structural problems of a concrete structure that isn't built to an earthquake standard. Uh, here we have the toppling hazard of bookshelves. The uh, fire suppression system isn't braced, so it can be unusable when it's most needed. The gas piping doesn't have flexible coupling, so that can cause a fire hazard and where that could cause more damage than the structural damage from an earthquake. So it's pretty damn obvious that we need to do something. I mean, it's damn obvious to everybody except the mayor and the city council who are sitting on their butts and not willing to put any money or effort into doing the seismic upgrades to City Hall and the library because their whole focus is on getting taxpayers to pay the $83 million for the oversized and overpriced police facility. And what they think we should do, I don't know, maybe put up posters like this of a cute kitten saying, warning, this building is not safe in the event of an earthquake. That's just not good enough. Vote no on Measure 24399.
Then citizens can work with city officials on a wiser police facility plan that protects the lives of everybody the city hall and the library, not just police department employees. Check out SalemCanDoBetter.com for more reasons to vote no on Measure 24399. I made this video because I don't want children and other people dying in the Salem Library and City Hall when the big one earthquake hits, and I know you don't either.